What's up guys? You may know from my previous videos that I'm a type of a rider who likes upgrading my bikes as much as I like riding them. And in today's video I wanted to give you my 5 tips of how you can make your bike lighter without breaking a budget. And these are the types of upgrades that many people don't think about when they make their bike lighter. They jump straight to the frame or wheels or group set, but remember, frame set is just 15% of the weight of the whole bike, whereas the remaining 85 is the components on your bike. And in one of my previous videos, I showed you how I upgraded my Cannondale Topstone and made it 2.7 kilograms lighter. It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. Obviously, in that video, I replaced all components on my bike. And if you want to achieve this type of weight saving, you probably need to do the same. But there are simple and easy ways to make your bike lighter. And the most important thing, you don't need any special tools to do that. And in this video, I'll be using price per save gram as a measure of how expensive or cheap the upgrade is. And to be clear, these five upgrades may be not the most efficient in terms of price per save gram. And if you're looking for that type of advice, I would recommend upgrading your wheels because even some expensive bikes, which cost more than 4,000 pounds, come with cheap, heavy wheels. And you can shave a lot of weight by upgrading wheels, but that would cost you from 500 up to infinity. Uh, and this video is targeted to less than 25 pounds upgrades. So let's start. And for that, I have a box of goodies. Yeah, it, it's a SRAM Force XS box, so just buy uh, the most expensive group set on the market. No, I'm just joking. So, what do we have here? And my first tip would be change your through axles or skewers to bolt-on design. Many bikes come with through axle or quick release that have a handle, so you can quickly remove the wheel from your bike. But unless you're doing this twice a day, I don't think you need to carry this extra weight with you and by replacing it to the bolt-on design like this you're not just saving weight but your bike will look cleaner as well double win so let's see how much weight we can save these are Cannondale Topstone carbon standard axles which are not the heaviest to be honest Compared to some aftermarket through axles which I bought on eBay, it was saved 63 grams just on the through axles, which is not bad. Wiggle recently started selling prime through axles and they're currently on sale 13 pounds each, so 26 pounds for both axles, which means if we divide 26 pounds by 63 saved grams, would be 40p per saved gram. Not bad. The same story is with quick releases. This is 3T quick release. This is some bolt-on QRs, which I bought on eBay. 25 grams, so the saving is even more. The main thing to remember is that through axles come in different sizes. So when you're buying one, make sure you buy it in the right diameter, length, and the thread pitch. My second tip would be buy lighter inner tubes or go tubeless altogether. But if going tubeless is not for everyone because you need tubeless tires, tubeless rings, sealant, valve, and probably a special pump, then replacing your tubes with something lighter is much easier and doesn't need any special tools. When it comes to the lightest tubes possible, tube liter is the clear winner for me. They're definitely not the cheapest tubes on the market at 25 pounds per one tube. Uh, but when it comes to price per save gram, they're actually very good. Let's see how much weight we can save on the tube and calculate the price per save gram. I oh, forgot to mention, in this video I'll be comparing gravel tubes, but they make tubes for road and mountain bikes, and the weight saving will depend obviously on the size of your wheel, and the bigger the wheel, the more the saving would be. Let's weigh tube a liter first, 57 grams, and the standard gravel tube, 157, which means you can save 100 grams by spending just 25 pounds, which is 25 pounds per saved gram. This is really good. Another good thing about Tubalita is they're very compact. 
packed, so they fit almost every saddle bag. Next weight saving tip is my favorite one because it's free. So tip number three, cut your seat post. Yes, you've heard it right. Most bikes come with very long seat posts, like 400 or 350 millimeter long. And in many cases, you don't need the full length of the seat post. So by just cutting it at the right length, you save three grams. General rule is that you need at least eight to 10 centimeters inside your frame. So for example, in this case, I can cut the last 10 centimeters of the seat post. In this case, how much weight we save will depend on the length of the seat post and material it is made of. Obviously for carbon, you will save a, a bit less, for aluminum, you will save a bit more. Uh, but from my experience, you usually save from 20 to 60 grams per the seat post, which is very good considering it's free and you only need a saw. So on average, let's say it's 40 grams and price per gram is Zero. Moving on to tip number four, replace your fork compression plug and stem cap. This might surprise you guys, but actually by replacing your fork bung, or it's also called a compression plug or expander bung, however you call it, you can save some grams too. So let's see what we have in the box for compression plug. This is an extra light aluminium stem cap and also an aluminium bolt plus the compression plug which I bought on eBay and it comes from China but lots of other more expensive brands like Carbon T or Schmolke are using the same design to save weight on your bike but obviously Schmolke and Carbon T would cost you much more whereas on this compression plug I only spent five pounds and on the stem cap plus the bolt I spent around seven pounds. To check how much weight we managed to save, unfortunately I don't have a standard plug because I replaced all of them on, on my bikes with this and never had any issues in the last three years. But I, I can show you something which I found on the internet and we can see how much weight saving we can make. And by the way, the good website to check actual weights of the components is RC Bike because they have photos of the components on the scales. So here we go, this is a standard compression plug which weighs 54 grams. So we managed to save 38 grams just on the compression plug. And the final weight saving tip of the day, which is tip number five, upgrade spindles or axles in your pedals to titanium. This will not work for everyone, but there are quite a few aftermarket options that cost from 20 to 30 pounds and in most cases it's an easy swap which you can do having just standard tools and in my case I spent 25 pounds to buy titanium spindles for my speed play pedals 56 to replace the standard chrome axles that came with the pedals so we saved another 65 grams by spending just 25 pounds which means it's around 40 pence per saved gram. So I've just showed you how to save more than 400 grams by spending just 115 pounds. If you think about it, this is the difference between the weight of a carbon frame and a comparable aluminum frame, but it costs six or eight times less. And this is not taking into account that you can sell your old components, obviously if they're in a good condition. And if you have really great selling skills, you can maybe even sell the cut piece of your seat post. If you have any other tips or ideas, please share them in the comments down below. And tip to cut fat off your body doesn't count. By the way, if you want to upgrade your bike but not sure where to start or don't want to spend a lot of time doing your own research, I'm happy to help you with this by doing a detailed analysis of the current components on your bike and providing possible upgrade options to fit your budget. The price for this consultation will depend on the time I will need to spend. For example, if you want a component by component analysis of your bike, or you just want to have a call to get some advice. But believe me, it's not that much and it will definitely help you to save your time and money. For example, this is the analysis that I performed for one of the subscribers of my channel from New York. The file that I sent to him contains his request information 
and my comments against each of his requests, plus a detailed analysis of his components and the weight and the possible upgrade options, the price, approximate price for the used components he might be able to find, weight saving and price per saved gram. As a result, he managed to cut more than one kilogram of his track checkpoint by spending less than $500 or equivalent of 360 pounds, including the sold parts. If this is something you are interested in, I will leave my contact details in the description to this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.